Nelly Kostadinova is paying a visit to a tourism congress in Cologne. Her interpreters have already settled down in their booth. 2.0 companies, but not that new because we have been existing... Today the team is interpreting for travel industry CEOs. They can't lose their thread even for a second. It's a long day. Two we will need for that, of course. Kostadinova is proud of her team. This is the third time they've been booked for the Congress, and she's more than happy with their performance. She drops by to let them know. Kostadinova used to work as an interpreter herself, so she knows the score. In how many languages can you say, I am an interpreter? Well, obviously my own language, Bulgarian, then there's German, then Russian, that's another one of my languages. I also speak Serbo-Croat, and of course I could say it in English. But in fact, I don't actually interpret in English. I just use it as a working language. Lingua World provides translation and interpreting services in 180 languages. CEO Kostadinova says that annual turnover has reached several million, but she stops short of naming an actual figure. There's a specially strong demand for technical translations in mechanical engineering and in the car industry. A new commission has just come in. The team has to calculate how many translators will be needed to meet the deadline. It's a big job. 40,000 words in three days is a lot of hard work. We have to ensure that we maintain high standards. Translating is easy enough. Making sure it's good quality is another matter. Once the translation is ready, the text has to be carefully edited. Over 10,000 freelancers work for Lingua World. We get new commissions every day, which is wonderful. They even come in at night, since we're a 24-hour service. We have no shortage of projects. The boss makes sure she gets some time off work. <laughs> Regular exercise is a good antidote to stress. Three days a week, Kostadinova meets her personal trainer to work with weights. It keeps her strength up. She'll be turning 53 soon and wants to stay in shape. As an up-and-coming young interpreter, she often used to work here in Korweiler, a suburb of Cologne. It's home to people from well over 100 countries. Yeah, yeah, you know. Back then, Kostadinova often interpreted for the police. Now that she's a successful entrepreneur, she donates money to the district civic center. She's helped fund an education project that offers children assistance and support with their homework. It's important to encourage children who speak a different language at home to cultivate that language. Many of them don't realize what an asset it is to have another language that they've learned from their parents. It's capital, and marketing this capital is what I do. Do any of you speak another language apart from German? I do, I speak Italian. Language as capital, a principle that fits perfectly into a globalized world. Originally from Sofia, Kostadinova is now married to a German civil servant. I feel completely at home here. I've lived here for 18 years. I always tell people that Cologne is my second home. This is where I first arrived. The first thing I saw from the train station was the cathedral. I fell in love with it, and this is where I stayed. Nonetheless, her business has expanded far beyond the confines of Cologne. Lingua World is on an expansion course. This month, the 15th franchise is set to open in Berlin.